Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are talking about Azure Data Factory and its different scenario. In this case, we are going to talk about a scenario wherein we would like to copy a specific file extension, wherein we would like to copy the specific extension type of file. Let's take an example of CSV from one story account to another story account and that too is matching with a prefix name what do i mean so let's take an example i have a storage account which has a container name input and in this container i have multiple files so multiple of them have type csv and then there are other type of file like png also available now as in demonstration why what i want is i want to copy only a file which is of ts csv plus the name of the file is starting from color right to the destination store account which is this here is the output i have output container here i have the and that is where i want to copy the file so let me just remove these files which are already available so that we do not make so we are not getting confused with the demonstration now to start the demonstration, I'll be using the Azure Data Factory pipeline to define the pipeline. I'm going to launch the Azure Data Factory instance. So this is the Data Factory instance, which I'll be using for the demonstration. To launch the studio, you can click here and that will launch the studio onto another tab, which will look like this. Now here in this section, you can create a new pipeline as i mentioned to create a pop as i mentioned to create or set up a copy activity i'll be creating the pipeline so let me just create a new pipeline and here i'm going to use the canvas to define my all my activities for the pipeline as i mentioned we'll be supposed to use a copy action so i am going to cop use a copy activity which is available inside the move and transform so let's drag this copy data activities to the canvas and you have to specify the configuration details for this copy data activity first thing you have to specify the source which says that what is my source location from where i need to start the copy now to specify the source location you have to set the or specify the data set so if you already have the data set like i have it you can specify that data set right here from this selection option or you can create a data set by clicking on this new option so i have clicked on new option new button and here you can choose the data set of your choice for our example we are supposed to use the azure blob storage so i'm going to use the blob storage as in data source type and as we are targeting only to a specific file type which is csv so file format i'm going to select a file type as in csv but if you are targeting any other type then you can use the binary type or json or depending upon the file type you want to use let's select the del delimiter text file which is a csv file type so let's call it as in copy csv and then you have to specify the link service so link service is the service configuration which is which will help you providing the detail as in where is what is the address or the location of the source data like a storage account names and how it is supposed to connect to the storage account so that detail is configured inside the link services i already have the link services created from the previous demonstration so i'm going to use this link service option right if you would like to verify the link service detail you can click here on the edit option and that will give you an option to verify the link service which the storage account for an example in this case which storage account it is connecting to and whether it is that my connection is working fine from testing point of view or connectivity point of view you can see that i have verified the connection it is connected successfully now to now if you want to directly connect to the storage account without verifying the link services or without verifying the connection link with the link services the option which we have given just now you can click here on the browse option that will use the link service which we have chosen and it will try and communicate to the storage account containers 
click on the browse option and you can see that within that storage account i have these two containers so it is showing the list of the container select the first container which is input container because that is where our files are and it is giving all the files which are available inside this container as in preview i'm not going to specify any specific file because our objective is to select more than one file which is of a specific name to start with it and a specific extension which is csv select ok that is it about your data set which is of source so our source is ready now let's talk about the sync which is destination now sync also you, have, you can specify by clicking on create new sync or you can use the existing sync so here is my existing sync which i am going to use in this case you can see that as soon as i choose the existing sync i am getting the details of the sync uh, and it has a configuration detail as in do you want to reserve preserve the copy behavior like folder files do you want to merge and all those things and apart from this there is a file extension so which means that when you copy the file which is of csv and when it is going to be copied to the destination it will be converted into a text file right so this is really important you have to remember that otherwise your target files are going to be changed to .txt file right now let's go back to the source and here we have the file path option the file path in data set prefix wildcard and the list of files so first of all without making a change let me just validate the pipeline so if i try and validate you can see that i am getting an error because it says that the file path option you cannot use in case if you would like to copy multiple files so to copy multiple files you have to use the wildcard file path option and that is where you can specify your wildcard regular expression which we would like to use to copy the file so let me just use or give me all the files which is of type csv and starting from color so color star dot csv so that should copy all the files which is starting from color and ending with dot csv that is it let me just validate again if the error is gone yes you can see that the error is gone now the pipeline is validated successfully just make it bigger now i can simply debug the file or debug my pipeline by clicking on this debug option and that will run the pipeline instance with this activity and that activity will be can be shown here in this pipeline run id you can see that this is the copy data activity which is running right now the activity is succeeded if you would like to see the result of activity you can use this lens icon right here from the pipeline section that will show the actions performed by this activity you can see that as in source it is two it, it has copied two files at, to the destination location at the destination location now if i verify the run i can simply refresh my target storage account container which is output and i can see the changes as we can see that we have these two files which are being basically copied successfully as in dot csv right so let's go back again to the pipeline you can simply click on the sync it has used this option to copy the file right i have not used any option as in copy behavior but for an example if you use any copy behavior let's say flatten this structure for or flatten the hierarchy for an example let's run that again and what happens so even though so our second instance is successfully completed let's re review that let's see that now in this case what has happened is it has created two new files and let me see what is the file hierarchy looks like it has created a two new files with this name and i believe this is the activity id maybe not not activity id but it has created a random ngo id by creating the file name so that's another option Next, let's look at the preserve hierarchy one, right? Preserve hierarchy option, and I'll run it again. So, let's look at this result. Again, it has copied the two files. Let's just verify again if it has done some changes. No. So, what it has done this time is it has overwritten these files, right? So, when we have selected this option, as in 
flatten hierarchy it has created a copied a file with a new name whereas when you use the preserve hierarchy it has copied the file the way it was using it with the default option without selecting anything you can simply click here like this right so that's option number one another option we have to which we have here with the source is use the prefix option so you can use the prefix as in color and as our data set is anyways using the file type as in a csv type so it will copy the csv file which is starting from the color section right so let me just copy all my file uh, let me just run this again but this time we are using source with this option as in prefix and this time we have specified the prefix as in color so first of all i'm going to clean this target locations just to avoid any confusion the copy activity is successful ah, let's verify that yes it has copied you can see that it has copied a file which is starting from color right so there are two options available which you can use option one prefix uh, and option two is wildcard here you can specify the wildcard entry like this right i hope you have got an understanding how do you use the copy activity with a filter and filter with a prefix or with an extension type and you can be able to and you should be able to copy the file from one location to another location that's it in this video i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video